I wanted to talk about what we're hearing on the news. I listen to the radio news, the television news, different channels, the news that is coming from other countries, you know, the BBC, Deutsche News, um, what else? NHK News. Um, I also read Apple News and uh, a local news channel also on, on, the, on the phone. Um, they talk about the same thing every day. The schools and the number of cases and the number of deaths from the virus. Now the number of cases is not accurate. We don't know how many cases there are because everyone in the entire world is not tested. So it's kind of silly. Um, and the thing that is disturbing is the information they don't give us. The information that could help us. For instance, there are several places in the world called blue zones where they live the longest and they live healthy, not just healthy, but fully functioning, even when they're over 100 years old. How come they're not visiting these places or, or Zooming with these places um, and, and having these people tell us how many cases there are there, how many deaths there are there? Uh, don't they want us to live healthy? I think it's something to do with the economy because people that live healthy in these blue zones, by the way, we have one of those zones in the United States. They live healthy because they eat mostly plant foods. They spend most of their time outdoors. Um, they grow most of their own food. They're very social with their neighbors and with their families and with the public. And if, if the world, everywhere in the world, would start those practices, I think the powers that be would be afraid because it would affect their income because people who grow their own food and stay home most of the time and in fresh air a lot, they don't need medications, they don't need doctors, they don't need operations, they don't need vaccines. They just need their beautiful, healthy lifestyle. So you can find this information online, but uh, you're not going to hear it on the news. The most valuable health information I hear on the news, I hear it like once every 10 years, where they just say it once so they can say they said it. And they never say it again. Right? <laughs> so um, it's that old saying again, lies are for free, but the truth has to be stolen. You have to dig for it. So, so try to think logically. And um, this is a great time to change or improve your lifestyle. You know what to do eat mostly plant food, get physical exercise, be in the fresh air. I even walk barefoot a lot in the yard. I hear that's very healthy. It makes sense, doesn't it? I mean, wild animals are usually very strong and in good health. It's the pets that we have at home that aren't in such good health because, you know, we are feeding them processed food uh, when you try to make your own dog food, you know, it gets unbalanced, they start losing weight, they're not the same, so we're stuck with the processed food for the, for the animals, our pets, but, you know, we can give them fresh air and exercise, and we could try to pick the best food that's natural for them. So, um, let, let's think, let's analyze everything in our life. I, I think uh, it's correct about going to crowded places is risky because throughout history, overcrowding, which affects sanitation, and 
gets you in contact with so many people has made um, diseases more prevalent like tuberculosis, typhoid fever, polio, meningitis. So we have history to to let us know that it's correct that we shouldn't be in big crowds. And because of the blue zones we know that a mostly plant food diet is the best. And uh, there's lots of information online that uh, you don't hear very often that air conditioning is not healthy because it produces positive ions and we need negative ions like like that appear after a lightning storm it, it cleans the air the kind of uh, negative ions that are on the seashore with the splashing waves so look into these things. When I hear these things, I don't just read it and go on my way and, and think that that's it. No, I, I call an expert, a local expert, like a professor at a university. Uh, even public schools, when I was a substitute teacher, I'd ask them about things I, I read, about the negative ions, the positive ions, and the air conditioning versus fresh air. And the same thing with the... Uh, religious information I get. It's not just from the books. It's from the people. It's in person at their places of worship. I've been to so many churches, so many synagogues, um, so many alternative churches, and, and so many mosques. And the basic teaching, if they stick with their books, is the same. You know, be nice, be loving, forgive, do the right thing, be honest, keep your word. It's all the same. So whatever in life you're thinking about or that affects you, study it, try it, experiment. And like I've said before, this is such a great time to improve your lifestyle and to get back in touch with things maybe you used to do more, things that you love, like like artwork or gardening or, or, or exercising or dancing in front of the TV to, uh, you know, that channel where it lists what programs are going to be on in the next hour? They usually play music on that channel. That, that's a good way to get exercise. There's always some type of exercise that you can find that you like. Okay, I guess I feel like talking today. Most of the time I'm quiet and I just talk to the dog.